Hi, I'm Jose, original manager of Libre Heavy. Today, I'm going to show you how to measure a wear part of a cone crusher, a ball liner of a HP 400 crusher. By learning this method, not only can you customize a properly fitting ball liner for your cone crusher, but you can also expand your supply options by lowering its dimensions. By training your engineers with this process, they will gain a better understanding of how crushers work, which will ultimately improve your crushing process. Join me as I guide you through this simple yet essential process. Without further ado, let's get started. Here is the first one. Measure the outer inner diameter of the upper port part. In this step, using a simple tape measure, and measuring from 10 centimeters, from one size to the other size directly opposite. The maximum inner diameter of the port here we got is 86 centimeters. Step number two, measure the outer diameter of the upper port. In this step, also using a simple tape measure, and measuring from 10 centimeters, from one size to the other size directly opposite. The maximum outer diameter of the port here we got is 105.6 centimeters. Step number three, measure the minimum thickness flange edge of the upper port. In this step, using a simple tape measure as well, flange edge of the upper port as shown in the video, Move back and forth to get the minimum thickness size. Here we got the result is 3.5 centimeters. Here comes step number four. Measure the maximum thickness flange edge of the upper port. In this step, likewise, using a simple tape measure, measure the flange edge of the upper port as shown in the video. Move back and forth to get the maximum thickness size. Here we got the result is five centimeters. Step 5, the vertical height from the upper port to the working surface. In this step, we will use these two tools. This big vernier scale and a tape measure. Put the big vernier scale on top of the upper part horizontally. Then measure the size between the upper part and the working space vertically as shown in the video. Here is the size we get, 51 centimeters. Step 6, the vertical height of the bow liner. In this step, we will use two big vernier scales. The bigger one is for the horizontal upper part. And the other is to get the vertical height. Because there is some part hidden in the button. We need to lift the cone a little bit so that we can measure. Follow the steps and get the vertical height. Here is the result. 58.4 centimeters. Here comes the lower part. Step 1. Measuring the outer diameter. In this step, you better use the big vernier scale to get the diameter. Let's focus on it. Follow the steps from the video, and then get the size. Move back and forth to adjust the tool tighter. Here is the result. 146.6 centimeters. Step 2, the inner diameter of the lower port. In this step, using a simple tape measure, and measuring from 10 centimeters, from one size to the other size directly opposite. Move back and forth to get the size. The maximum inner diameter of the port here we got is 135.3 centimeters. Step 3. The inner angle of the lower port part. Here we need two tools. One is a pair of universal angle ruler and the other is a big vernier scale. First, put the big vernier scale horizontally on top of the lower port as shown in the video. Then, adjust the ruler to match the angle. Here we get the angle, 47.5 degrees. 
Here comes the last one. The outer angle of the lower port part. In this step, there needs three tools. Two big vernier scales and the angle ruler. Put the big vernier scale horizontally on top of the lower port as shown in the video. Then, put another smaller one upright on the bigger one vertically. Put the ruler to match the outer angle of the cone. Warm tips. You'd better ask a helper to hold the two scales then you can adjust the ruler. Here we can get the result. 29 degrees. If you get all the sizes, then fill out the form and hand it to us. We'll make the product through it. That's all for the video. I hope this video helps you get the sizes of your partial parts more accurately. If you learned some good stuff from this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below the video if you want some more tech technology. Head over to LibreHaving.com and hop on the inside of Crusher Warehouse. It's free. Now it's your turn. Do you have any other idea to measure your warehouse of the Crusher's accuracy? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.